Tully Garth is a layout we built three years ago, which was, um, it was obviously Scottish in flavour and the idea was to build something of a smaller scale than what we've been building recently. Um, and we went a little bit freelance with it in that um, we were imagining, cause it's an imaginary place, but we were imagining a line that is actually closed, just the calendar, uh, Stirling Calendar Oban line, as if it had never closed. So. Although it looks rather West Highland in flavour, when you look at the buildings and other things around it, it clearly isn't West Highland, it's more Caledonian in origin. Um, so we just we just tried to make a sort of, sim a sort of simple layout uh, using SMP track for the first time, which has been very successful, um, and building it on an open frame principle so that the track kind of flies through above ground level. Um, so there's more relief in, in the layouts we've built previously as well. Um, it was always David Patterson's idea when we, when we designed the layout that it was going to run in that kind of late 80s to sort of early mid 90s period um, when everything was changing from blue into sort of 50 shades of all sorts of colours. Um, and we, we do a lot of sort of detail and a bit of scratch building as well so there's a lot of ready to run stock on there but nearly everything gets fiddled with. Um, every I don't think there's a loco on there that hasn't been at least renumbered we run three links, screw links on all the stock, um, which is a bit of a fiddle sometimes, but it looks nice. Um, we also sort of major quite a lot on yellow plant. Uh, Jim Reed uh, builds a lot, scratch builds a lot of yellow plant, and it sits around on the layout and attracts lots of attention. And you'll be able to see that on some of the clips of video, I should think. Um, we actually went down the road of using DAPOL uh, single post signals, which have worked very well actually. Um, and then for the ones where we needed brackets, we've again Jim Reed has scratch built three of them. Um, and again, people are always ask us where do you get the signals from. You, say, well, you don't basically. Um, so there's, there's a few things on the layout that will, will catch people's eye that they might think think are familiar. And the, the, the Land Rover garage was a, a deliberate li uh, lift of a place called Licks Toll, which is just above Killin. Um, where there's always loads of Land Rovers piled up outside and it's just, you know, just little things like that, sort of people think, I've, I've seen a place like that, but I'm not sure where it was, but, so that, but that kind of puts it in the right area. Um, the signal box, which is also rather nice, was actually lifted off another layout, which was a Caledonian layout that we changed into a North British one. So we had a, a nicely built Caledonian signal box with nowhere to go. So that was a, it was, it was lifted and replanted. And it seems to work quite well as well. Uh, Dave Patterson built the uh, station building and it's, that's loosely based on Locker and Head or St. Fillin's um, sort of design which is you know, on, on the line that we were imagining. Um, all the stocks, it obviously runs Lens DCC and all the stocks sound fitted um, as you can probably hear in the background as I'm talking, um, which also people like as well. We and just right about DMU generally. We, we love coming to the show because it sort of is, is everything that we want. We see all the layouts that we want to see all in one place, which you know you might see one at one show and a couple at another show. But when you come here, you've got all the layouts you want to go and see in one place. And lots of like-minded individuals and all the traders that come to the show have always got the bits and pieces that you need as well. So uh, we're for, we, and it's great. And we, we don't come off. We don't come abroad very often, but we try and get south of the layout at least once or twice a year. Um, and it's become a very sort of social event for us as well, so as long as we keep getting invited back, we'll keep coming. Mm -hmm.